In 2021, the FDA has set up a plan to reduce the sodium intake of everybody in the United States without you ever touching your salt shaker. How did they do it and how will it affect you? Stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, click that bell so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. But although I am a kidney doctor, I am not your doctor. So make sure you talk about any health changes or changes in your diet with your own medical professional. The average American takes in 3,400 milligrams of sodium each day. That is way more than the average recommendation, which sits around 2,300 milligrams of sodium. That's 1,100 more milligrams than the recommendation that's given for most of us out there. The consequences of that extra sodium are increased blood pressure, risk for cardiovascular disease, increase your risk for stroke. If you have kidney disease or heart disease or liver disease, it can cause fluid retention. So limiting the amount of sodium in your diet can have lots of beneficial health effects. The problem is that it's easier said than done, right? In the United States, one of the reasons it's so hard is because 70% or more of that sodium that you or I take in on a daily basis doesn't come from the salt shaker. Instead, it comes from things like restaurant foods and processed foods, things that you buy in the store that have already been put into boxes or packages. So even if you never touch your salt shaker, you may be getting more salt in your diet than you actually need. So unless you cut out all those processed foods and you stop eating at restaurants, you may never get down to the level of sodium in your diet that can help you manage your blood pressure or can help you reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke. So the more help we can get from the foods that we buy in the store, the better off it will be for us and the easier it will be for us to meet those sodium goals. So over the next five years, the FDA is encouraging manufacturers to gradually lower the amount of sodium that's in the food that comes from the processed and manufactured foods that you buy from the store. The fact that they've decided to do this gradually is fabulous news. Most of us have taste buds that are already used to really salty foods. So if they were to cut out the amount of sodium in those foods at the grocery store from high to low, you would get that food and you would think that it tasted disgusting, bland, and you'd go right for your salt shaker and make up for all that salt that they already had removed from the foods that you just bought at the store. And you'd be back to square one. By doing it slowly over the course of five years, they are giving you the opportunity to change your taste buds. Hashtag change your buds. So this is fabulous news and it may have tremendous beneficial effects for you in the long run. Now, of course, there are caveats here. So there are things we're going to have to watch out for. So are these manufacturers going to take that sodium out of the food and replace it with things like potassium, replace it with things like phosphorus? Those are things that may be dangerous for people with kidney disease? Are they going to take that sodium out and stick in a lot of sugar, stick in a lot of fat, so they still get people to buy it and eat it? Uh, you know, the jury's out. We'll wait and see what happens, but I think this is a great first step. The bottom line is that if all goes according to plan with these changes in these processed and manufactured foods, your sodium intake over the course of the day will go down. Your risk of cardiovascular disease, stroke, high blood pressure will go down and you will have health benefits without changing the use of your salt shaker. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. Make sure you like this video, comment, tell me what else you want to see. Check out my website, thecookingdoc.co. Check out my book, The Cooking Doc's Kidney Healthy Cooking, a modern 10-step guide to preventing and managing kidney disease. And we will see you next time.